Only half a year ago, we reached a point in which we can truly, without a single manual labor, just automatically, take all those pieces of data, go into the cloud, and build this high-definition map at the required details to power our autonomous uh, uh, fleet. We have now about 20,000 kilometers of, of data just in, in, in Munich already, already mapped. So this gave us this feeling that now we can scale. So we're planning China and Shanghai, uh, Tokyo, uh, Paris, uh, Detroit. And if we figure out how to get the regulation with the New York City, with the New York State, we'll also plan to uh, deploy New York all in a matter of uh, the, next, uh, the next few months, because those two factors of scalability are, are practic practically solved in our development. You can't think just two years ahead. And there we're looking at you know, the next generation, the next technological leap in LIDARs and, and, and radars. So in LIDARs, it's called FMCW, Frequency Modulation Coherent Wave. So it's a completely different principle. And it turns out that Intel has a huge advantage over everyone else. Uh, Intel has a silicon photonics, uh, both in terms of uh, uh, fabs and, and, and production and in terms of uh, IP, where you can put active and passive laser elements on chip. On the radar side, we are uh, targeting imaging uh, radars, but the twist here is going to be software uh, defined. So rather than analog defined, you simply sample the entire scene, and then through software, you, you do all the modulations. So this gives you a lots and lots of uh, flexibility.